Hey guys, welcome to Watched Film Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain an epic horror movie. The movie starts with screams coming from a house. It turns out to be from a pregnant woman named Margaret. She screams in pain calling God's name for help. Just then, she stops screaming as she realizes that she had given birth. She calls this a test from God and decides to kill the baby. She stops midway as the baby begins to cry. The scene shifts to a couple of years later, we see the baby all grown up and is in high school. Margaret, her mom, named her Carrie. Carrie is seen in the pool as it is time for physical education class. She isolates herself to avoid participation. Here, we see that Carrie has a very timid personality. The volleyball falls in front of her as she looks on. The girls start to cheer her on as she smacks the ball. It hits a girl named Sue as they all laugh. Carrie is seen in the bathhouse. Blood begins dripping from her body as she starts to freak out. She runs to the girls for help and they push her away. They begin throwing tampons, also known as sanitary pads at her. She keeps crying and their teacher named Desterdin come to her rescue. It is shown that a girl called Chrissy recorded the whole scene. Carrie is taken to the principal's office and Morton, who is the principal, asks Desterdin to get to the bottom of the issue. Carrie screams and the glass containing water bursts. Margaret comes to take her daughter home as Carrie is disappointed that her mom didn't teach her about menstruation. They go into the house and Margaret starts banging her head into the door. She keeps saying that, God visited Eve with an eternal curse of blood and that is what Carrie is going through. Carrie counters by saying that, the Lord love for his people is unwavering and it endures forever. Margaret forces Carrie into a closet and asks her to pray. Sue and her boyfriend Tommy are seen making a cultured game in the car. Sue stops the wonderful moment as she feels guilty for what she did to Carrie. Chrissy, Heather, and Billy, her boyfriend are seen in a house. They make fun of Carrie and Chrissy decides to post the video she took of Carrie. Margaret opens the door for Carrie to come out. They are seen at school the following day. Carrie walks in the hallway with stairs on her. She runs to the washroom to cool down. She stands in front of the mirror and start to freak out. The mirror breaks and falls into the sink. She realizes that, she can control things if she concentrates. She makes the broken mirror levitate and is amazed. She stops as she sees someone coming in. Desterdin punishes the girls to do suicide runs for mocking Carrie. Chrissy insults Desterdin and Desterdin suspends her from school and the upcoming prom. Carrie goes to the library to research on her powers. She comes to class and uses her powers on the school's flag. She is called to read a poem in front of the class. Tommy thinks that the poem was awesome and Carrie looks at him. Sue's mom comes to Margaret's shop to buy a dress. She begins apologizing on her daughter's behalf. This infuriates Margaret as she sticks a pin in her own thighs and she starts to bleed. Sue tells her boyfriend to ask Carrie to prom. He rejects the suggestion but Sue manages to convince him. He goes to school the following day and asks Carrie to prom. She doesn't say anything and leaves, thinking it was just an act. She runs to the locker room and Desterdin comes to her. She convinces Carrie that she is beautiful and that puts a smile on her face. She goes home and sees Tommy in front of her house. He makes her laugh and manages to convince her. She goes to get a dress for prom and gets home late. Her mom starts to scold her asking her to turn down Tommy. She gets angry and the furnitures in the house levitate, she then lifts her mother up with her powers telling her that she is going to prom whether she likes it or not. Carrie begins to sew her dress for the prom. Chrissy and her boyfriend, gather some boys to kill a pig. They drain its blood and take it to the place the prom will be held. They hang it to set a trap for Carrie. Tommy and his boys dress up for the event and Carrie does the same. Her mom tells her not to go and that Tommy wouldn't even come. Just then, Tommy arrives in a limousine. 
Margaret tries to stop Carrie but she locks her mom up in the closet. She leaves with Tommy and they get to the event. Tommy introduces her to some of his friends and Desterdon comes to Carrie. Tommy and Carrie are to vote for the homecoming king and queen. They vote for themselves and leaves it in the ballot box. Heather and Chrissy swap the votes with their own. Tommy and Carrie win the homecoming king and queen. Chrissy texts Sue about her plan and Sue leaves to prevent it from happening. Sue gets to the event and Desterdon thinks she has come because of Tommy. Desterdon sacks Sue away and just then, the pig blood is poured on Carrie and Tommy. This infuriates Tommy as he yells, what the hell? A bucket comes to hit Tommy's head killing him in the process. Carrie gets enraged and pushes everybody back with her powers. She locks the doors and Sue tries to get in. A girl's face smashes the glass on the door frightening Sue. Sue calls the police and escapes. Some boys try to escape through the window, she crushes them with the seats and kills a boy recording the incident. She makes water spray the area and causes Lizzie and Nikki to get stuck on the ground. They are stepped on and killed in the process. She uses two electrical wires to whip Heather which causes her to be engulfed in flames. Carrie takes Desterdon to safety and floats in the air. She sees Chrissy and Billy escaping. She causes the road to break beneath them. They turn around and try to ram her down. She creates an invincible vol which causes their car to have an accident. This causes Billy to lose consciousness. Chrissy drives the car at Carrie and she diverts the direction to a gas station. Chrissy's face pops out the car mirror which kills her. The car explodes and is destroyed. Carrie goes home and washes off the blood on her body. It turns out that her mom had escaped from the closet. She hugs Carrie and stabs her in the back. Carrie pushes her mom away and crawls on the floor. Margaret slices Carrie's legs and Carrie stops her with her powers. She causes knives to pierce her mom's body killing her. She begins to remove the knives and Sue comes in. Carrie sobs and start to destroy their house. She realizes that Sue has a baby girl in her tummy and sends her out. The house comes crushing down and Carrie dies with her mom. We see Sue taking a flower to Carrie's grave. She is seen to be in a labor ward and screaming just like how Margaret was, indicating that, Carrie somehow passed her powers to the baby girl. The moral of the story is that, it's nice to be important but it's more important to be nice.